and I have to tell you, I want everybody to go get sustain your game. And the reason I want that is it's real stuff. It's true. I practice it. And I learned things in the book that I didn't practice. And I don't play basketball. And the book's not a basketball book. The book is a life book. The book is a happiness book. It's a blueprint for success book. To kind of put it into context, so my first book was Raise Your Game, and, and the goal of that was to show folks how to reach optimal performance. Uh, but then I realized that's only half the battle. Uh, staying there is the hard part, and staying there is more of the long term. I mean, it's it's one thing to get to the top of the mountain; it's the other thing to stay there. Um, you know, this reminds me of if I, I don't, I, I say this with the most respect. Sure, it's like the best of Timmy Grover with like the best of Mel Robbins in one book. Are you with me? Like that's like when I first listened to the audiobook, I was like, this is so full of just actionable. I say easy, easy to comprehend, yeah. easy to write down what fills my bucket, you know, and then like, oh, oh yeah, stop doing that shit. Do more of that <laughs> shit. Like, and I like that. You, you heard me say it like, I like simplify, simplify, simplify. Don't complicate things because most people complicate things and well, then they don't do anything. You, you got to listen to this book. Because because it, it is it's not every day that you come across something that like if you consume it you'll be better. I'm a better person for writing it. I mean the the, the reason I write books um, is to help me improve in the exact material that I'm writing about. I, I write the book that I need to be reading myself. We have been conditioned and taught how to start and stop, but not sustain. And I thought I would use that lead in because it's really the heart of the book about why sustaining is so vital to our success. I remember vividly uh, back when I was in the basketball training space and I was at an event where there was a bunch of NBA rookies who had just recently been drafted and a veteran player said to them, and he said this with a smile kind of tongue in cheek, he just said, hey, congratulations on making the NBA. Uh, I know this has been for most of you a lifelong dream since you were first able to walk or dribble a basketball and it's finally come to fruition. You finally reached the pinnacle and finally reached your ultimate dream. But I want to tell you that was the easy part. The hard part is actually staying in the NBA. But I started to figure out that there was a slight difference between what you need to do to reach the top and what you need to do to stay there for long periods of time. But the most important part of that is with a sense of joy and fulfillment. Stay at home mom could read your book and say, you know, how do I not get burned out in this? You know, I think anybody can read this book and think about you know, getting aligned with what they want out of their life and then continually doing that so that they don't burn out. I've struggled with stress, stagnation and burnout at different times throughout my entire life and career. And I, I find it both liberating and somewhat therapeutic to kind of meet that head on and write about and, and speak about from stage the things that I'm still working on. So I'm not coming from a place of mastery in any of this stuff, but I'm starting to figure some things out that I believe are putting me on the right path and then I always want to share that with others. And anytime I hear feedback that that, that work is helpful, um, you have no idea how much that means to me.